Before you export your model, there's two important things to check. Has every part of the model been UV unwrapped? And have you assigned materials to ID the texture sets in Substance Painter? If not and you're unsure, check out my video on UV unwrapping. If all good, select your object, go File, and then Export Selection. Choose the file type here to FBX Export. Then just choose a name in the file name, find a good location, and click Export Selection. Moving to Substance Painter now, head to the top left, File, and click New. This should pop up a little menu. We have to check three things here. First, the template at the top. Use this ASM PBR metallic roughness for 90% of your models. Underneath that, File, Select, and we're gonna choose our FBX file that we exported out of Maya. Lastly, we're gonna choose a document resolution here. You can always change this later, but I like working at this 2048 when I start as it gives me enough detail and doesn't slow down the computer too much. Click OK when you're happy. You should shortly see your model appear in the scene. Before we start texturing though, we should bake our mesh maps in. The reason we need to do this is so that we can utilize things like smart materials, smart mask, and generators. Head over to texture set settings here, scroll down until you find this big button that says bake mesh maps. Change this output size at the top here to something a little higher. 2048 will work fine for this one. If you do have a high poly mesh to bake with, you wanna place it into this little box here. If not, in our case, like we don't, let's just hit bake selected textures. This will bake all our mesh maps into our texture sets using the same model. You should be able to easily texture your model now using all of Substance Painter's features. Happy texturing.